I, I don't want to get you in trouble at the next uh, NHL Players Association mixer, but when you hear a national analyst question Sid's work ethic, what is what do you, what's your reaction to that? Well, to be quite frank with you, I, I really don't give a you know what um, what other people uh, think of of my statements when it comes to you know uh, really being embarrassed by uh, by not only Jeremy Roenick but but also by Mike Milbury. I mean, it's it's appalling is the word that comes to mind. And and talking to other NHLers that maybe aren't as vocal as I am. Uh, they're they're voicing the same thing. Maybe they they don't have an avenue to voice their opinions, or they just don't want to put themselves out there. I I, I really don't care. Um, I, I just can't believe that. You know, Jer- I know what Jeremy Roenick was trying to say. He's basically saying, you know, Sid's got to be better. Sid's got, and, and I agreed with that part. But the, the question is work ethic. It's almost like Jeremy Roenick at times doesn't really have that filter in between <laughs> the brain and the mouth. That he just kind of, you know, just lets it fly. Yeah. And, and that's I, I, that to me. That doesn't make you a good analyst. You need to have a little bit of professionalism when you are trying to critique or or analyze a player. That's the thing. And, and again, again, like I said, uh, you know, earlier this week, like of all the criticisms of Crosby, like, and you can criticize Sid, right, about sure. any number of things in his career, but the work ethic thing, man, the kid's a rink rat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was that. I mean, it's a, it's a head shaker, and you know what? But there's there's a bit of a history here. If you go back a few years, even when Sid was coming, uh, uh, you know, going through his concussion, you know, Jeremy Roenick uh, said some kind of a statement where you know he's sick and tired of waking up in the morning and seeing Sidney Crosby's face on the TV talking about this and talking about that. He's like, just get back on the ice for heaven's sake, you know. And I was like, yeah. Are yeah. you kidding me? Like, I, I mean, are you just a? Does he have that much latitude that he can pretty much? just kind of vomit at the mouth anything he wants to say with no repercussions at all mm-hmm. i don't know it's a head shaker for me what was your thing with Millbury? because i mean obviously obviously mike got in a little bit of hot water for kind of saying hey the you know that the blues should slash to injure should hit to injure was was that i mean i i kind of get what he was saying but but it also kind of kind of bugs me that he's a bit hypocritical like when, when he takes a run at orpic and calls him a predator for the way he hits and then turns around and says you should slash and try to break someone's wrist it kind of came off as well, a that, hypocritical to me yeah that was that was bad enough i mean uh, sounding very neanderthal uh but i think the part about you know hitting a guy and, and hitting him from behind and and give him a little bit of a concussion i i tell you i was watching <laughs> at the time my my jaw almost dropped to the floor I mean, considering what's going on right now with the concussion lawsuit against the National Hockey League, I'm sure that Gary Bettman and all the lawyers at the National Hockey League were thrilled to know that their lead analyst that's trying to sell the game and, and trying to promote, um, you know, uh, being a, a safer game and, and a more pleasurable game to watch would just spew a statement like that without thinking at all uh, of what's going on with concussions. It's Again, it's a complete head shaker for me. I, I I can't believe that this is who's representing our game. 